all right shalom ya all of peace is all first and foremost as always we want to give all praises in honor and glorification due to yahweh bashem yahusha bashem kakadash double honor to our elders apostle great muslim james whole world and our peace and blessings to the hopefully like i am out there pushing this gospel this doctrine of yahweh bashem yahusha and righteousness in the seventh day and truth and also shallow warm a war broke of thumb peace and blessings to the brethren and sisters that may be tuning and listen learning studying the vibration of yahweh bahashim rashad bahashim bakakadash yahweh that's the hebrew name of whom the world egotical god the god of abraham isaac and jacob yahweh means he is he to be he exists the being that existed before time also known as the shadow of days in yahweh shacham mashiach that's the hebrew name of his beloved son whom the world ignorant to call jesus christ yahweh shah means he who saved he who delivered the savior of the elect of the nation israel which also called blacks hispanics native americans west Indians, and haitians now according to the bible god chosen people Baha Sham Baha, which means in the Sham name, we call Spirit Kadashuli in the name of the Holy Spirit, which allow us to be able to understand this wonderful gospel. This is an appeal your Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew, the last one Kadash, the holy tongue, the language that Yahweh Shai spoke to Saul on his way to Damascus, the language of the heavens, and once again to worry how Shimashai for allowing us to be able to understand this beautiful gospel about the war. Taz war. We two Akiam here from the GMS Boston Cape linking up to do a short lesson to the sport here about Shimashai, you know, well certifying. And you know, the closer and closer we get to this devil going down, the more and more the work the wonderful side of Yahweh Bashim Shah gonna be made manifest. Mm. You see these are these are so called UFOs we know them as IFOs, we, we know what they are. We are they are the, the child of Yahweh Bashim Shah. These are our salvation. The more and more this devil going down, the more and more these chariots are making known their presence. They letting you know that you are not alone. There is a there is a higher power out there, mm -hmm. and the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai is watching over, is watching over the elect, and also is, the angels are taking notes for all the wickedness that has been done at, at Esau, the so-called white man has been doing ever since he came into power, and and we are uh, uh, closer to the devil going down. The charts uh, become more and more uh, uh, obvious, man. That's the time we're in, you know. Yeah, can't keep. Uh, just because you mentioned, uh, his eyes are ten times uh, uh, brighter. Exactly, because night seen verse twenty-seven. Come. We said Ecclesiastes. Night seen verse 20, twenty. Uh, yeah, I think so. Night seen verse twenty-seven. I think. Uh, no, 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 no. Ecclesiastes 23 and 19. Like yep, yep, I got it right here. Ecclesiasticus, or the book of Sirach, it's in the Apocrypha 23, verse uh, 19. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. Yeah, such a man only fear the eyes of men, right? Because the people, they only they care what all the people think of them. But there's a higher power, even even though the spiritual realm is all around you, man. You, you don't think that nobody's watching. People, uh, the Lord Yahweh, Shemeshah, and the angels, they are taking notes of your yes, behavior, sir. how you behave, how you how you deal, how you uh, 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 deal on on a normal basis, you know. Yes, so that such a man only fear the eyes of men and know if not that the eyes of the Lord, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh, Shemeshah, are the angels, man. The angels are all around us, especially now more than ever because we are the end of this devil's rulership we are the end of the so-called white men ruling the earth man kind of got another one amos 9 and 8 behold the eyes of the lord yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom and i will destroy it off the face of the earth saving that i will not utterly destroy the house of jacob said the lord we know that the the sinful kingdom uh in its context that's talking about the nation of israel but right now we are we're also applying for esau edom you yep, know, and Babylon, uh, Babylon the Great, you know, That's right. the eyes of the Lord are open the sinful kingdom, right? Saving. Yep, uh, Salak here. Mm -hmm. uh, behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom, mm -hmm. and I will destroy it off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. So the Lord Yahweh is about to put an end to this madness, to Babylon. But a remnant, the few, the remaining, the elect of Yahweh Shemeshai, they're going to be all accounted for, no That's matter right. what they are scattered, right? That's right. You know, go back to Ecclesiastes 23, verse 19. Such a man only uh -huh. fear the eyes of men, and know if not the eyes of the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men, 
in considering the most sacred parts. So the angels are all, all around us, man. That's Taking right. notes, man. Now more than ever, they 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 making you people known, and people are in fear. Yeah, they you know, exist. Yeah. They exist, right? People feel what they don't understand and hit what they can conquer. You know. So that's exactly what it is. They they that never they people never used to see so so called uh 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 uh, uh spot you know uh lights in the in the in the in the atmosphere that's right now they, now they fear now that's they right. know that there's, there's a higher power out there if, if i may mention the reason why they didn't uh uh gave it any mind or even feared because they were uh brainwashed through the philosophies or the the, the dogma of religion or through uh, uh, uh hollywood mm -hmm. you know uh you know these news there's the media they'll tell you that it's ufos or there's aliens uh operating these vehicles and they try to say it's sci-fi science fiction it's mm -hmm. not real but ultimately, again, as the scripture says, the Lord will do nothing but reveal of his secrets amongst his servants, the prophets. We, the servants, the prophets, know that they exist. And the elites of Esau, Edom, the government, the elites know they have this in hidden files mm -hmm. in uh, what they call it uh, top secret or what, what's the uh, um, damn, what's their term they use? Top secret. Uh, uh, what's it called? Top secret. Yeah, but they, they, they keep this high profile mm -hmm. type of. Uh, 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 cl classified. Classified, classified there it is yeah. classified uh, information mm -hmm. and, and they know that the, that they exist and they know that they're ultimately the the angels of the most high those is the vehicles of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, the chariots of the Lord. And that's why the brother mentioned their IFOs. We identify them through the spirit because the Lord revealed it unto us, man. Yeah, because like you said, they're classified because Esau is this elite. They don't want you people to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. They want you to remain in darkness. That's right. They don't want you to know that there, there's a so called black man uh, pretty much uh, uh, directing those so called UFOs, man. That's right. You know? And they want they want you to be in a dark style state of mind. They want you to live your best life, do as thou wall. There, there's no, in the mind, they want, they want you to behave like there's no. There's no God for your action, man. Yeah, and like they try to push that there's no God, mm -hmm. that they don't exist. They want to uh, push this narrative that, again, that that's fiction, and they're the gods. Mm -hmm. They want people to worship them, to follow after their agendas and their rules and their mandates, you know. But again, th uh, uh, these showings, these sites, whether through Massachusetts or we're gonna get into the article, you know. But they've been doing sites throughout uh, all U.S., uh, the all in Brazil. Mm -hmm. through, through, they've been scattered. These are signs of wonders in the heavens that's going to put great fear upon most of the people because again of that brainwash people mm -hmm. thinking that they don't exist but we telling you this is the way out and we pray that we're found worthy for to be the remnant you know the, you know the, the remnant are going to be delivered through them chariots man mm -hmm. you know and and then they're also going to be the the destruction of of these heathen nations in america man mm -hmm. yeah con you got anything bro so we, we get to this article um this is from, um, what was this, from News, News Break, News Break the yeah. app, and uh, the article reads, UFO lights up the skies of New Bedford, Massachusetts, and we you know, we, we teach out here in uh, Boston, so this is our state, you know, and we know that when we watch Brothers Camps, and uh, Brothers been posting, there's been new uh, uh, UFO, quote unquote UFO, but we're going to say chariots, because that's what they are, chariot sighting throughout all these major cities and states, man. So this is the Lord making himself known in presence that he's there. Like the brother mentioned, there's more, as the scripture says, there are more with us than are, that are with them, man. That's right. You know, and that's our army, the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh he's only for us, man. Mm -hmm. So this is our army and this is just a sign in the times that we at the end because that's another indicator that the end times is uh, truly are here, man. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's continue on. Uh, Cam Fortes sent us a video that his brother Noah, which is spiritual Noah, Noah you know, man. recorded on Saturday, September 25th, that shows what appears to be a UFO. Noah told us that the video was taken around 7.30 p.m. near Buttonwood Park in New Bedford, Massachusetts. The flashing lights appeared to be hovering over a CVS on Kempton Street. Over the chorus of Rupert Holmes' Escape, the Pina Colada song, you can hear Noah saying that his two flashing lights are moving in sync. The video uh, was less than 10 seconds, but that was enough to intrigue us about these two flashing um, orange orbs. You know, and when, wait till when the Lord really makes his presence known, mm -hmm. it's going to be more than two flashing lights, man. Mm -hmm. It's going to be 20,000s and thousands. We, we'll get it real quick, mm -hmm. you know. 
uh, what was it? Uh, Psalm 68. 68 verse 17? 68 or 64? Yeah, 68 verse 17, I think. 68 verse 17. Mm -hmm. Con, you can break it down. Psalm 68 verse 17. The chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. Yeah, just like when the Lord uh, rescued us, delivered us from the land of Egypt, He uh, uh, the, the mountain, Mount Harris, um, what's it called? Mount, Mount, uh, what's the mountain name? Uh, when Moses went to receive the commandment. Oh, Mount Sinai? Mount Sinai, it's like Mount yeah. Sinai. It was full of, of chariots, man. That's right. And, and that's exactly how it is. That's exactly how the angel of the Lord, Yahweh Shemeshai, going going to be in these last days, especially when this place Babylon uh, 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 be taken down, right? So, so the church of Yahweh Shemeshai are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord, Yahweh Shai is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. That's you know, right. just like Yahweh Shai was back then, deliver us uh, in Egypt. It's gonna the same thing's gonna happen in our lifetime, man. That's right. It's gonna be a marvelous sight to see, man, to see a so called uh, so called black man up, up there. Because a black man uh, being a savior, that's this was worst nightmare, man. That's right. <laughs> that's know? right. That's exactly what it is, man. So these people they are in for a road awakening, man. They, that's right. What they had to see the most, that's exactly what they're going to see, man. That's right. And people are not aware, again, again, because of the, the propaganda that has been pushing the lies and deceptions through the news and media, even through religion, you know. And, and, and once these things uh, appear, men's hearts are going to fail them mm -hmm. with fear. And I got them real quick. Uh, Luke 21, uh, start at verse 25. And mind you, the uh, we as Israelites knew about the chariots, knew mm -hmm. our, about our, our, our heritage and all these captivities besides here. Mm -hmm. So we have been discontinued here in America. So th it's going to seem like a new thing for those that are unaware. But, hey, through the spirit, we knew that this was going on for ancient times. And we knew that we, anytime we as Israelites, we had any problems or trouble, we, we would pray to Yahweh Hashem Al Shai and look up for salvation, man. Mm -hmm. But we got Luke 21 and 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon. And the end in the stars and upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and waves worn. Yeah, if I may, a sign is an indicator you know, to, to let you know that something's going on, right? That's right. So the, the UFOs are indicator to let you know that our Savior, Yahweh, is on his way. That's right. He's on his way to gather the elect from the four winds of the earth, man. That's right. You know, it says uh, uh, with perplexity, the yeah. sea and the wave roaring, the sea is synonymous with the people. Right now, the people are gonna be in a, a, a perplexed state of mind. They're That's not right. gonna know what's going on. They're not gonna know what's going on because of the media, the elite, they've been portraying these uh, so-called UFOs as being a sci-fi. Sci-fi. No, they not they uh, uh, science fiction. They don't That's really right. exist. You know, what I'm saying, oh, it's only a uh, 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 green. Uh, little little green men in there, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's madness, man. So you people, uh, anybody that's pretty much outside this uh, production, guess what? They're gonna be in it for a road awakening. They're yeah. not gonna know what's going on. They're gonna be astonished. Uh, astonished, right? That's right. Verse 26. Men's heart failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the power of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw off nigh. Mm, beautiful, man. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, men's heart flame them for fear, man. That's right. You know, and for looking after those things which shall come upon the earth. Because like we said before, man, people have never seen the glorious, the marvelous work of Yahweh Hashem Mashiach on a grandiose scale, man. That's you, right. You've never seen a, 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 the skies full of so-called UFOs, man. A huge forest ship uh, uh, blocking the sun, you know, uh, uh, Everywhere you work, everywhere you are at the same time, you are going to be able to see it, to witness it, man. That's right. That's going to be a marvelous sight, man. Yeah, when you see the, the son of man, which is Yahweh Shai, mm. like the brother mentioned, it's a so-called black man. He's coming with fury mm. and anger, and he's coming in a cloud. That cloud is talking about chariots, or it's talking about uh, the vehicles of the Most High. It's mm. not an actual gray, uh, looking like cotton cloud. Or, you know, when you see uh, a wheel within a wheel, or... Uh, um, What's the other one? Um, uh, uh, a flying a, roll. A flying roll, a whirlwind. Well, yeah. These clouds are uh, representations of the vehicles of the Most High. And that's what these, these elites know, man, that the Lord's coming back in these chariots, man. And he's coming to reckon, uh, and he's coming for vengeance, and he's coming with that sword. And ultimately, that's going to be the curse that go on the face of the earth, as according to Zachariah, Zachariah the, fifth chapter. the fifth chapter. You know? and But then it said, when these things begin to come to pass, look up and lift up your heads for your redemption. 
portion draweth nigh. That's for the elect to look up, man, mm -hmm. and look up because that's our deliverance. Because uh, ultimately, uh, 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 those that's in America, the Israelites that's in America, the elect that's in America, they're gonna have to be physically removed off this earth and be lifted up in the air uh, before those thermonuclear missiles come and hit uh, America, hit the earth, man. Mm -hmm. huh. That's right. I got one record back here about yep. Isaiah. 31 verse uh, 1 Isaiah 31 and 1 uh, Matter of fact 31 verse uh, verse 5 uh -huh. It says uh, As birds as birds flying So the Lord Yahweh shall host You might them. have to read verse 1 Because it says trust in the chariots Because many It yeah. might be something yeah, different uh, Yeah so now Isaiah 31 verse 1 mm -hmm. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help And stay on horses And trust in chariots mm. Because there are many And horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord Yahweh Shemeshan. That's right, and that's for you uh, non-believers and you uh, Israelites that trust in the government, trust that you know everything's going to be all right. You following after their uh, uh, doctrines or their agenda, and you're not looking for Yahweh Shemeshan. And this is what's going to catch you off guard. You know, when these things begin to come to pass, you you're going to be in fear, man. Because you're not expecting the spiritual realm. You're not expecting a, a, a so-called black man that's going to deliver you from your troubles because you think that you're in a good case. You think you're already in paradise. But the Lord has controversy with this place. He's ready to destroy this. And he's going to make his presence known. You know? God, uh, verse 2. Yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his, his words, but will arise against the horses of the evil doors. And against the help of them that work iniquity. That's right. Now the Egyptians are men and not the most high, and the horses flesh and not spirit. When the Lord Yahweh Shemeshah shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is hoping shall fall down, and they shall all fall together. Yeah. Oh, verse 4 For thus said the Lord Yahweh Shemeshah, spoken unto me, like as the lion and the young lion roaring. On his prey, when a multitude of shepherd is called forth against him, he will not be afraid of the voice, nor base himself for the noise of them. So shall the Lord Yahweh Shemeshah of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion. That's right. And for the hell thereof. That's right. See, that's going to be also the. Uh... The war in heaven. Mm -hmm. The Lord is going to actually use these chariots and they're going to be the armies for the elect to be delivered. And they're also going to fight the militaries of these other nations and mainly Esau, Edom. And that's the war in heaven that's spoken about in Revelation, man. Come on. Verse 5. As birds flying, so will the Lord Yahweh Bashimashal host defend Jerusalem. See, so that's the purpose. The Lord's coming to destroy Esau, Edom, and their rulership, and all these other militaries, you know, these other kings. That's why he's going to set crowns, multiple crowns upon his head, because he's the ultimate king and Lord of Lords, and he's defending Israel, Jerusalem, you know? Sure. As birds flying, so will the Lord Yahweh Bashimashal host defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it and pass over. He will preserve it. Yeah, as birds flying. And when birds fly, they fly in a unison. And that's a, a example of the Lord coming in the air with these chariots, man. And when you look up, they're going to be so high. They're going to look like a, 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 a damn, it's formation mm -hmm. of, of birds. But it's ultimately, it's the chariots of the most high, man. That's right, that's right. Come on, we'll get a thing real quick because I uh, quoted it. Well, Zechariah chapter 5 verse 1. Mm -hmm. Uh, Zechariah 5 verse 1 Then I turned and lifted up my eyes And look and behold a flying roll And he said unto me What seest thou? And I answered I see a flying roll The length thereof is 20 cubits And the breadth thereof 10 cubits Then said he unto me This is the curse that go forth Over the face of the earth For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it And everyone that sweareth Shall be cut off as on that side According to it And uh, I will bring it forth Said the Lord of hosts And it shall enter into the house of the thief And into the house of him that sweareth falsely By my name And it shall remain in the midst of his house And shall consume it with the timber thereof And the stones thereof Yeah the flying wall is synonymous with the so called UFOs uh, what you people call them, but we call them as the, the chair of Yahweh Shemeshai, right? That's right. So it's these these are curses for the wicked, man. 
you know, the wicked. It's a curse for the wicked and a, and a, a deliverance for, for the elect, man. That's right. You know, a blessing for the elect, a curse for the wicked and a blessing for the elect. Because the Lord Yahweh is going to use those, uh, those uh, chariots to destroy Babylon, to destroy the wicked. And also it's going to uh, serve, uh, the, the lover, uh, save the elect. From the from the from the destruction, man. That's right, and this is why we say when World War Three kicks off and the missiles are shot out to America, and the Lord's gonna make His presence known, man. That's right. You know, that's why it says knowing it's a hard time to awake out of sleep because our salvation draw is nearer than we believe. Hey, it's just seeing chariots, whether it's in uh, Massachusetts, New York, uh, Tennessee, Texas, California, so on and so forth, even in Brazil, uh, Africa. Europe, mm -hmm. you know, Australia, China, the Lord is making his presence known and he's soon to uh, 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 crack that cloud, man. And he's going to come in, uh, with that sword and the slain of the Lord shall be many, man. But the deliverance only for a few, which sure. is the remnant, man. Right. Sure. You know, so that was a quick lesson, you know, uh, we hope this was edifying. Uh, we want to give our praises in honor and glorification due to Yahweh, Bashim, Al Shah, Bashim, Rakakadash. Double honor to our elders of our soul, Great Nelson, Jamas, Holwa. And uh, peace and blessings to the hopefully Lekakiam out there pushing this gospel, this doctrine of Yahweh, Bashim, Al Shah, and righteousness, sincerity, and truth. Until next time, Shalom. Shalom.